So let's get started. Today I want to share with you what I think are the three most important keys to success on the IELTS exam. And for me, these three keys are, first of all, to make sure that you have a good plan, not just a plan for the IELTS exam, but a plan for your future. Uh, the country, the university uh, that you hope to, uh, to go to, the career that you're dreaming of and the steps you need to take to, to get to that place and how the IELTS exam is just one part of that, an important part, and fits in. And then once you've decided and made a plan, what are the steps that you need to really prepare so that you're ready on, uh, on test day? What's your English level? Is your English at a high enough level? Is your, are your IELTS skills developed to the place where you're sure to find success on the else exam and then i want to give you some very practical some really practical ways that you can practice to make sure that you are ready for the else exam so let's start by talking about your plan for the future so the else exam while it's important is not really the first thing that you want to think about when it comes to your plan. You might want to be clear. Maybe there's a country that you've always dreamed of living in. Maybe, maybe it's Canada, the United States, or the UK, or Australia. These countries that do require you to have an English proficiency test and pass the IELTS exam. Maybe you're thinking about the career that you've always dreamed of, the, the career that you really want to, to get into and make uh, your life's uh, career. And when you've thought about the country and the career, then you're going to think about the university. And there's no reason that you can't get into the university of your choice when it comes to success on the IELTS exam. And the career that you've always wanted in the country where you want to be. And once you've thought about all of these things carefully, then it's time to think about the IELTS exam. And let me tell you why these other things are important to be clear on before you even get to thinking about the IELTS exam. Once you've decided on the country and the career and the program that you want to take in university to achieve that, you're going to think uh, about the university that you're applying to. And one of the most important steps, and it seems obvious, but so many do not take this into consideration before planning their IELTS exam. Once you've decided on the university or universities, two or three, that you've narrowed it down to, you want to make sure that you uh, really investigate and become clear on the score that you need on the IELTS exam to get into that university. And usually, for example, in Canada, if you're going to attend an undergraduate degree in university, you're going to need a score of 6.5, not just for your overall score, but on each section of the IELTS exam. And if you want to get into a graduate program or a master's program, then it could be a little bit higher. It could be a seven or a 7.5. But the most important thing, before you book your IELTS exam, before you start preparing for the IELTS exam, understand the score and the goal that you need to achieve before you start. And, and while this seems obvious, I can tell you that I receive so many emails and messages and they'll ask me something like, uh, Jeff, I just scored a 5.5 on my odds exam. What university can I attend with that score? And, and this is actually backwards, uh, quite bluntly, it's backwards. Don't 
do your outs exam and get a score and then go looking for a country career and university that fits your IELTS score. Your IELTS score is important, but it only uh, exists. The only reason that you're taking the IELTS exam is to fulfill these other parts of your dream. So make sure that you put the IELTS exam in perspective. And because while it's an important step, it has to serve the purpose of you fulfilling your dream. So find out what you need and then work towards that goal. And uh, I can tell you that so many make the mistake of just focusing on the IELTS exam first. And they aren't, they aren't fully prepared. They haven't uh, done their homework and their research on the score they need. And, and the other thing to remember is one of the most difficult things when it comes to preparing for the IELTS exam is to stay motivated, to put in the work day by day. And so you have to keep this bigger dream, this bigger goal in mind as you plan your future. And the IELTS exam will, is that one step that will get you there. And so uh, knowing that will keep you motivated. You know, half, uh, over half of people, and there's about close to 6 million people who take the IELTS exam every year. And, there, and unfortunately, over half of these uh, IELTS candidates do not get the score they need on their first attempt. And so they end up taking the IELTS exam more than once. They end up sometimes taking it two or three times because they don't have the right motivation and the right preparation. And they waste lots of time, lots of energy, and even lots of money by not getting their plan in place before they start. So do your homework, do your research, and before you even begin, understand exactly the score you need to get into the university of your choice. It won't be a nine or even an eight. It will be around a 6.5 or a seven. And once you're clear on this plan and you know and understand that you have to get a certain score on your IELTS exam, the second key is to have the right preparation strategy to be able uh, to be able to prepare uh, properly and effectively for the IELTS exam. And there's two things that have to be a part of your preparation. The first begins with your English language level, because after all, the IELTS exam is an English proficiency test. It's to test your English language level. And before you even begin to think about taking the IELTS exam, you need to be clear that your IELTS, your English level, according to international standards, is at a B2 or C1 level. So this means about a high intermediate level of English. This is the level of English that's required to get the score you need. And if you're not sure if you have the level that you need in your English, you can simply contact me and I can give you some information and help you uh, with an English level assessment and, and, uh, and chat with you and let you know if your English is at a high enough level. It's as simple as contacting me and at the end of this video, and in the comments, I'll provide you with the information on how you can uh, uh, get an assessment to check your level of English. So once you've, you understand where your level of, of English is, if it needs to be higher, then you've got to be sure to include English language improvement as a part of your preparation for IELTS. And then it's the IELTS exam itself. And providing your English is at a high enough level, 
the IELTS exam does take some time to prepare for. If your English is at a good enough level, say it's at a, even at a C1 level, the average length of time for most candidates is about eight weeks to prepare. And of course, it does depend on, on how you're preparing, the amount of time you have each day. It depends on your schedule. It depends on how you balance it with your family life, your work life, or your, your studies. But if your English language is, as, is already at a high high level, a C1 level, then it's going to take an average of eight weeks to prepare for the IELTS exam. So don't book your test without understanding that it takes the time you, uh, to take the time you need to prepare. If, you're, if your English is at a bit lower level and you need to include English improvement as well as uh, preparing for the IELTS exam, it could take 12 weeks. It could take a longer period of time. But when it comes to preparation, the key point is to understand where you are now compared to where you need to be to be successful on the IELTS exam. So assess your English language level. Do a mock test for the IELTS exam and see the scores that you come up with and how much you need to improve. And then be very realistic on how long it will take you to prepare for the IELTS exam. And if you want to make sure that you have a good preparation strategy that takes all of these things into account, be sure to watch the next video in the series that will give you the best preparation strategy and really dive into a little more detail about how you can make sure your preparation strategy is what you need for success on the IELTS exam. So uh, first of all, key number one, take your overall plan, your dream, your overall goals and objectives into consideration, your country, your career, the university you want to attend, and then have a realistic approach to how long it's going to take you to prepare for the IELTS exam. And I can't stress enough how important it is to be realistic with, with your time frame for preparing for the IELTS exam. And then the key, the third key is to put in the practice. And by practice, this is taking the practical steps day by day, week by week, month by month, to know the best way for you to prepare for the IELTS exam. And for some of you, it may be that you're going to do it on your own. You're just going to do a self-study program where you'll find the resources you need on your own. You'll go to YouTube, you'll search the internet and Facebook, and you'll find the resources you need on your own and you'll practice on your own. And for some of you, that will be a good strategy and it will work. Some of you, may decide that you need to take a course. You may need to be a part of a class and have a, have a, have a teacher assist you and, and, and connect with other students and be a part of a, of a, a, a well-organized, effective course with a good teacher that will help you make sure that you are ready and for some of you, it may mean just finding a coach for maybe private lessons or someone who can help you individually with a unique plan for your practice and scheduling your, uh, your IELTS preparation. Um, but when it comes to practice, once you've decided how long it's going to take you 
to prepare for the IELTS exam, how much time you have on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, you're going to want to make sure that you can have the most effective practice schedule for preparing for the IELTS exam. And this will require discipline. It may require a little bit of sacrifice. It will definitely require some good time management and scheduling on your, uh, on your behalf, but you will have to decide what is the best uh, course of action for you to get in the practice you need and develop the skills you need for the IELTS exam. So uh, what I want to share with you now is an opportunity that I provide for helping you in each of these three areas. And again, my mission is to help you uh, get the score you need and, and find success on the IELTS exam. And so I'm really happy and very fortunate to be able to join with Shakespeare's Language School. And between uh, the people at Shakespeare's Language School and, and with my experience and expertise in the IELTS exam over the last uh, 15 years or so, we have joined together to form this IELTS Success Strategy course. And this course is 16 lessons over the course of eight weeks, two one-hour lessons per week. And Shakespeare's Language School is a great school. It's located in Algeria, in the city of Algiers. We've already worked together on courses. And uh, I would really encourage you to think about uh, taking this course because this course provides all three of the different ways that I mentioned that you can practice and prepare for the IELTS exam. First of all, you receive your weekly course lessons and this is where you will join with other students and you have two options. If you're in, if you're living in Algiers, if you're in Algeria, you can attend these lessons live at the school on location. And of course, for many of you, you are not anywhere close to Algiers. So these lessons will be offered on Zoom, but you will be joining with other students from, from different areas of the world, but it's a good opportunity to be able to find maybe a study partner, a practice partner that you can uh, meet with between classes and, and, and help you prepare. You'll also receive, however, you'll receive the individual coaching that, that you may need. So for example, you will have access to me and uh, in between your classes, you will receive feedback on your homework, on your, if you're practicing uh, your writing or have any questions about any part of the IELTS exam between class questions, you have access to, uh, to ask me questions uh, at any time. And even after the course is finished, after your eight weeks, you have, uh, uh, you have my help, my feedback up until the time you take your IELTS exam. So if you plan to take the IELTS exam in three months and you spend the first two months taking this course, well, then that month between the end of the course and when you write your IELTS exam, you have uh, my, my support, you have my feedback on an individual basis. And along with the course lessons and, individual, and uh, specific feedback on your on the practice and the work that you're doing, you'll also be given lots of uh, recommendations for self-study resources so that you can include uh, your own practice and self-study as a part of this course. So it really provides those three things that are so important for preparation 
for the IELTS exam. And I would really encourage you to consider taking this course with me in connection with Shakespeare's Language School. Uh, the schedule is every Tuesday and Thursday uh, in my time zone, the East in Canada, it's 12.30 to 1.30. In Algeria, in the central uh, uh, time zone, it's uh, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And in your time zone, it may be different. And so it's important to check your time zone to see if this is a, a schedule that can, uh, can work for you. But uh, this is uh, when it will be taking place. And I would encourage you to check your time zones. And if it is convenient for you, um, it could be one of the most constructive things you do to, to ensure your success on the IELTS exam. But there is a cost. Of, it's, not, uh, it's not a free course. But I want to uh, tell you something about investing in your preparation. The cost for this course, and I'm giving you the estimate, the cost in Canadian currency. And again, just like you check your time zone, you'll have to check um, how this matches the currency in your country and in your situation. But let me just tell you something about counting the cost when it comes to your outs preparation. I mentioned earlier that over half of the people who take the IELTS exam don't get the score they need on their first attempt. And they end up spending, actually wasting money by booking their exam before they're prepared. And the way that we calculated this cost for this course, it's about half of the cost of taking the exam. And I've seen so many people they take the exam and not get the score they need. And so they've wasted money. They've wasted a lot of money. And then they may even take it again because they're not aware of how the IELTS exam fits into their plan and the preparation and practice that it takes. And so they end up wasting even more money. But I want you to understand that one of the best investments you can make is to invest in a course like this because it's half the price of taking the exam and it will ensure if you take this course it will ensure that you get the score you need the first time you take the exam on your first attempt so there's no more spending uh, and wasting money on repeated exam attempts this course will ensure that you get the score you need on your first attempt. And I would really encourage you to contact me or to contact Shakespeare's Language School to see how this course can help you and see if it can fit into your preparation and your big plan. Your dream for the future depends on the IELTS exam. So this course can be one of the wisest investments that you make as you prepare for the IELTS exam. You can contact Shakespeare's Language School directly for information by using WhatsApp. And the number is here on the screen and it will also be provided in the comments. Or you can contact me directly by email at info at eslgef.ca. And I would really encourage you to consider the cost when it comes to your IELTS preparation, not just the cost in money, but the cost in time and the cost uh, in uh, how you're going to invest in pursuing your dream for your future in the country of your choice, the career that you've always dreamed of at the university of your choice and getting the score you need on the IELTS exam. And I, one of the mottos of Shakespeare's Language School, and of course it, 
it's a direct quote from one of Shakespeare's plays called Hamlet, to be or not to be. And this is the question that you simply need to ask yourself. To be or not to be fully prepared to get the score you need and have success on the IELTS exam in your first and only attempt at the exam and move on to those bigger and better things that lie ahead. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to really dive into even more information about how you can be fully prepared and have the best strategy for your IELTS preparation, make sure to check out the next video for the best success strategy for your IELTS preparation. All the best on your journey as you prepare for the IELTS exam.